book was paired with, um, so she published it at the same time as a book of, I think it was like logic, right? So it was another book of philosophy. Um, and in all sort of like records about both of the texts, she published them together to sort of like legitimize the utopian fiction, right? So like the philosophy text was, you know, an, an act of intellectual discourse that was accepted at the time and the utopian fiction was something that wouldn't have been. Um, and so for her, she sort of like paired this, this fantasy, which is also really interesting because like she's, um, it's a really gender fluid text. Um, and she's thinking a lot about like science and power and um, it's anti-capitalist in this way. Like she, um, in the blazing world, she describes it as a place that like is without money. And so when she comes back to earth, she um, like attacks the empire and bans wealth, right? Um, this is like all in the 17th. Yeah. It's wild. Yeah. Um, um, and I think, uh, I think for me, I felt because I work in this, like, I work in, in kind of like two different modalities. Um, and I think when I'm with data analysts, I am not taken seriously because I'm a painter and which is fine. I like legitimately have less knowledge than them, right? Because my field of expertise is, is divided, really. Mm -hmm. um, but I felt like this, um, like, sense of kinship with this woman, right? Like this like divided energy, this using like one type of work to sort of like defend another, but also like for me, like I, I use painting because it, accesses some sort of like emotional tactility that's impossible to access with data <laughs> like you just that's not that's not a thing um yeah not yet. yeah not yet Ho hopefully not <laughs> yeah honestly yeah